Hello, and welcome to Quake and Quail. This is a short drawn RPG hold that I've been making. Uh, it's been basically done for, I guess, a year now at this point, and I'm finally deciding to release it. Now, originally I was planning on having it be a three-level, um, so short three-level hold, uh, and I got some good feedback from Karen Miller about how to fix up levels two and three, but in the end I just decided I didn't really want to work on this anymore. So I scra ended up scrapping them, and it is now a single level hold. Should be a nice bite-sized thing that you can do in an afternoon. It doesn't have, not every hold has to be a big, sprawling epic. And given the restrictions that I put on myself with this one, um, it kind of made it hard to work with after a certain point. So let's just get into this. Uh, there's going to be two playthroughs, I guess, because there is a... Uh, two different score points, one for just playing through it and one for doing a challenge checkpoint. So Quentin Quailfodder entered the gate into King Dugan's garden. It was here that his family had worked for generations as groundskeepers. As always, Quentin had come to help his father care for the king's quails. So here we are. Uh, we've got just our standard uh, default starting stats here. Just gonna light that up on the map, doesn't matter. Quint, my boy, could you go to the shed and get some more feed for me? Sure, father, I'll be right back. So, take a look at this scroll. There are two ways to play this hold, each with their own set of score points. First is just no restrictions. The second is to kill all three quail and don't collect any golden roaches. So these quail, you can see, uh, we lose five grackles. So money is pretty important in this hold. And starting in debt, 15 Greckles, makes it quite a bit more difficult to get started once you're actually in the game. Let's go into the tool shed. Quentin Quailfodder descended into the tool shed in search of feed for the quails that his father had been tasked with caring for. Uh, so there are two roaches in here. You can fight them for the Greckles if you want to. Um, you're not really intended to, they're just kind of here for flavor. Looks like some roaches got in here. They should leave me alone if I leave them alone feed my father wanted would be in the fire chest. That doesn't sound good. Quinton came crashing through the rotting floorboards of the tool shed and found himself in a sprawling underground complex. This must be King Dugan's dungeon, Quinton thought to himself. How am I ever going to get out of here? All right, and as you can see, because I've already played the hold, um, this is, this is it. That's the full extent of what we have to work with here. Uh, here we have these golden roaches, which are just uh, three, five grackles apiece. So challenge versus non-challenge is essentially a difference of 25 grackles. There's some nice roach statuettes here. I could probably scrap them from some quick grackles, but father wouldn't approve. That rep isn't used for anything. I just thought it was funny to punish you with rep. Halt! You aren't allowed to be out of your cell. Oh, it's you, Quentin. What are you doing here? Uh, I fell in through the roof. Can you let me out? I'd love to, but a goblin made off with the key. I need to stand guard by the stairs, so I can't go retrieve it right now. Maybe I could find the key? What, are you some wannabe smite master? Nah, better to wait until the next time King Dugan gets his dungeon cleaned. Uh, when will that be? Couple of months, probably. We've got lots of snacks here. Want to play cards? I'll think about it. The one criticism I did get early on is, you know, why are the guards just okay with uh, Quinton running around through the dungeon? Well, they know him. You know, he he works at the he works at the palace. They know who he is. There's no reason for him to be in here. And we'll grab the map. And now everything is on the map. So even if you haven't played it before, I'm not trying to hide anything. Uh, rather than going on the map, let's just wander around and take a look at what we've got. So here, right away, we have some cells. These are 10 greckles per door. These were not edited. Uh, right, oh, also the restriction of this. So the experiment, and the reason I was having trouble working with this over a longer scale, is that this is a defense-only hold. You never get a weapon. You never get an attack gem. The only way your stats increase is by getting defense. 
So with our starting 10 Reckles, we can open any of these. Getting a key early could be good. Uh, getting this defense gem, I mean, costs us 140, but... You know, as you can see here, like, every evil eye hit... Well, every evil eye we kill will be 22, I guess. It's only going to save us one health. So yeah, it's kind of a... A weird um, balance for things. I think these end up mattering more in terms of score than in terms of survivability, just because of the way the hold is set up. But that's fine. The optimizers can uh, figure out the ideal situation for that. Now this room looks a bit complicated, but it's actually not too bad. Uh, the main gimmick here is there's this roach queen in the center who spawns eggs. And so if you... And she pays attention to your position in the room. So if I attack this roach, I am in this quadrant. She will lay an egg on that pressure blade. Likewise, from here, same deal. And so you can try to get through, um, you know, to get this key, you have to step on all three of these which involves fighting all these roaches, which is going to involve eggs being laid, so this whole thing is kind of messy. Uh, also, uh, we do have the stats for this. We can't just kill the queen. But in so doing, um, we do we defuse the trap, but we take a ton of damage for only six crackles. And uh, we also do shut one of our pressure plates off. And then if we want to go in the back, uh, we can... We can do this if we want to, which shuts off this door. You know, not that big a deal, but it does give us access to a defense early on. Uh, however, this is 18 hits, so every defense gem that we take before getting through here will save us 18 health. You don't have a whole lot of health to work with. Uh, if we go up here, uh, there is no damage, so we might as well grab that. No hot tiles or omplik. We'll grab that 15 health right away. Three defense gems in here, a lot of stuff we can do. Uh, this room is a strong contender for what we're going to do first. Let's just continue looking around. Uh, this is the... maybe not the easiest key to get, but it is a key that we can get. Um, did I, I use the... I used the checkpoint, right? So yeah, this key is relatively easy to get. It just costs a Wraith Wing and two Evil Eye hits. Or if we go in here, just to look at this next room. Uh, and I just came into here because even though you can click on the map, you can't check what the pressure pressure plates do by doing that. So here we have Briar. We kill two things, these doors open and give us access either way. So we spend a key or fight a roach to get in. But after killing two things, the um, I, those end up becoming equivalent. So it's just a matter of which cost you want to get in and also, I guess, what you're going to do in this room first. Uh, here's a relatively easy key to get. Uh, there are Briar, though, which will be destroying goodies, getting us uh, losing us access to things. We can, if we want to, completely shut off the Briar by doing that. You take 60 Vali hits, 22 damage each, but it does completely defuse the traps. Now, that's only possible if you take the lower path. If you take the upper path with the key, you have to do stuff up here uh, instead, which means that you're going to have to do two fights in order to get through, unless you want to also go through the roaches later, I guess. Uh, alternatively, if you're coming through the top, your, your, path is, your option is to grab these, which gives you health and also shuts off the, uh, the briars that way. So multiple approaches that you can take to everything. Finally, down here, uh, this roach queen is kind of like the boss of the level. We don't have a blue key. I mean, the the blue key gets us out of the out of the dungeon. So here, uh, to open this door, the only way we're going to do that is by killing this roach queen. And that means that we're going to need 20 Greckles, two yellow keys, 
or a combination of you know ten Greckles and fight a Wraith Wing, one Yellow Key and fight a Wraith Wing. But fighting a Wraith Wing spawns an egg, and we can't we can't fight the egg. We don't have enough. We don't have enough attack. So if the egg spawns, that's going to you know let us get through here cheaper. We save the Greckle or the key, but then we have the extra puzzle of having to deal with these bombs in order to uh, blow up the eggs in order to release the pressure plate. And likewise, if we you know come down here, there's a lot of good stuff here, but that forces us to deal with this eventually as well. Uh, blowing up either of the bombs also shuts this off, which is going to cost us 200 health or a lot of points at the end, because uh, you have pretty much gotten through at this point. Except for this room at the very end, which I don't have access to, um, which is going to require us to get hit twice by a goblin. And the goblin hits pretty hard. Uh, there is a potion here for 200. Um, I might actually remove this if I find this to be too easy. Like, this is basically the reason I'm playing this right now. Um, this is sort of a final test before I submit this to HA. I might remove this potion. Because mathematically, if we look at this, Attack is 120, we have 10 defense, so even if we don't get a single defense gem, we are taking 220 damage from the goblin. This is 200 health. So as long as we get in here with 20 health, or I guess 21 health, we can grab the key and get out. And that's sort of the end. Once we've done that, then we can just get out, you know, get, get as many points as possible. I'm... That's something I'm going to have to optimize pretty hard for on the challenge mode, I guess, because on the non-challenge version, it should be pretty easy to get in here with 200 health, 220 health, whatever. Plus, plus assuming that you've grabbed any defense gems at all, you know, this will be relatively easy. So anyway, that's that's the consideration. Now let's go back to our autosave before we've, we've caught that roach. And now we have to decide what do we want to do? Well... Uh, I've tested this a whole lot, so I do have some routes and some optimization that I've done. I'm not going to spoil that if you want to play through this game, um, play through this hold on your own. Um, I would encourage you just to you know do that, mess around, figure it out, solve the optimized paths for yourself. Um, so I'm just going to do kind of a basic thing here. I have 10 Greckles. This is the reward you get for the non-challenge path. There are these gates that cost 10 Greckles. We might as well just grab something, really. Uh, I'm not too worried about health at the moment, so the choice is do I want defense or do I want a key? Uh, I think that defense probably lends itself well to just taking a whole bunch of hits and doing a bunch of fights. The key lets me get up here uh, early, and you know what? Let's try that. This is a path that... Uh, it's been actually quite a while since I've done this path. So now, hmm, this mess of arrows, the thing about this is that you basically have to come through like this, uh, whoops, like this, if you want this defense gem, and then that arrow just protects you on the way out. If I do this, Lost a potion, stuff has died. Now we'll take a hit, spend that, get rid of the briar, as well as getting all the health. And part of the reason I've done this the way that I have. Uh, interesting. So I'm not going to be able to get this gem because the briar grew. Part of the reason I'm picking this particular route is I actually haven't done this exact set of routing. Uh, this room in particular underwent a huge amount of testing and balancing uh, in order to try to make both routes relatively equal. And then after a certain point, I realized that by trying to balance this really hard, I was sort of taking the value of optimizing away from the player. Because if all the routes end up working out to be the same, then it doesn't actually matter what the optimizer does. 
Though it got to a certain point with this room where I was like, okay, I've messed around with this a lot. I kind of like how all the routes through the room feel. I'm just going to leave it and let them be, you know, imbalanced in certain ways. So, anyway, we're going to grab this. Let's get this. And also opens this. So I have access to down here. Uh, access to down here isn't actually all that useful at this point, though. So I can fight this and then spend 10 Greckles for 200 health, which is pretty nice. Uh, but anyway, so all I've done here is I've done a bunch of stuff and I've gotten some health. Okay. And I've spent two yellow keys. So this isn't actually feeling all that great. Because now I'm probably just going to go up here and do this room. Let's see, it's five hits per Wraithwing, six per Roach. So if I do this... Get the defense before I go in, because it's going to save me a lot of hits. Um, might as well. Yeah, so I don't have enough health to do the stuff over here. So I have to kind of do that first for the health. Which, now I'm really not looking good, but I do have a bunch of money again. Plus I've gotten a bunch of defense. Uh, I can spend 20 Greckles to get through, or I can just fight the, the Roach and spend the Greckles. Obviously this is the easier in terms of health. If I really need health right now, I can just do this. So let's do that. Uh, this room I haven't really touched. But made things a lot cheaper. As a general rule, if you're going to be doing a lot of fighting, you want the defense as early as possible. We start doing that. Okay, there is defense there. 115, huh? Hmm. Uh, also, I do have enough Greckles. I can just come through here now. Thing is, that Roach Queen, I'm gonna need a bunch of health if I want to fight the Roach Queen. Especially if I don't want to set off either of the bombs first. I might not be in a state where I can actually accomplish that. Okay, well I need more health. Let's do that. You know, like I said, there's a defense gem I can't really get there. Hmm... I think at this point, I want to just fight the Roach Queen. If I do this, I'm pretty close. So let's see, I think... So this room is kind of interesting, because how it works out is it's actually impossible to get to this key without spending a yellow key here. Unless you uh, unless you kill this Roach Queen, I guess. But with the, the way that I've done this, so basically it ends up effectively being you're trading a yellow key for this potion. Um, I take 30, I gain 50, so it is worth it. And that gives me enough to get down here. Grab that. And now that there's no Roach Queen in this room, you might as well just grab those goodies. Uh, are there any more defense gems in the entire whole 
Can't grab that one. There's that one still. Uh, so if we're gonna do it... Support it. Grab the defense. And at this point... I uh, have a yellow key. Yeah, so there's no more... No more defense. I might as well just grab as much health as I can. I don't think I need Gruckles for anything anymore. Uh, I can spend a key on some points, uh, some health here, but that's not a good trade because it's about 400. But we'll do that. Spend the Gruckles there. Uh, 105 is point positive. This is point positive. Obviously, this is point positive. And uh, those yellow keys for 50 health. Oh, the yellow key is worth 400. Then, so as you can see, I uh, really didn't need this. One, two. And we're done. There's not a whole lot left to do. So yeah, this is pretty short. And we escaped. So just based on this, um, this final potion absolutely, like I, that was not a very well optimized routing that I did through this. This potion is absolutely unnecessary for this version. Um, I'm gonna see. Uh, I'm gonna do a playthrough of diff the harder difficulty. I was considering doing that as a separate video, but this has been so short I might as well just do it here, I guess. The Conquered Quake and Quail. For Quinton, this was a rather traumatic experience. He just wanted to return to a quiet life of quail husbandry like his ancestors had done for generations. Unfortunately, the guard who had been on duty began telling tall tales of Quentin's heroism. Why, Quentin had tracked down the goblin all the way to the bottom of the dungeon and defeated it single-handedly without a weapon. Impressed by such a feat, the quail fodders soon got a visit from the local spite masters. Quincy, eager to see an increase in the social standing of his family, readily allowed his uh, readily readily agreed to allow his son to train as a spite master. For Quentin, his troubles were only beginning. I do actually have a drawed hold. Uh, in progress, which I'm planning on having Quinton be the, the main character for. Uh, so, and that should be hopefully coming out soon. It should have been done by now. I've just been very um, unproductive on architecture for quite a while. Anyway, so that was Quake and Quail. Not going to do any of the reading this time around. So this time, kill the three quail and don't collect any golden roaches. And we're going to see if I can do this without grabbing that extra potion at the end. Why would you do that? We have to pay King Dugan for each quail that dies on our watch. Okay, well... Starting with that. Now, this is why... you might want to attack these roaches, because this is four Greckles. Uh, and roaches, honestly, are the cheapest Greckles you're going to get in the hole. This is four Greckles that you lose access to if you don't kill these roaches right now. Um, I'm interested to see if an optimizer is going to be able to make that beneficial. But honestly, nice ro roach statuettes here. We're not touching those. All right. So... From here, getting to this Roach Queen is going to be a lot harder, I suspect, based on previous playthrough attempts. We will not be doing this without using the bombs. And using those bombs costs us a lot of points uh, and resources. Uh, obviously, we can't do a start here with these, which isn't great. 
But do I want to start with this room? Well, I'll start with that, because that's free. Let's start with that. Or we start with this. Um, let's start with this room again. We might end up restarting this, because I don't know if I have enough health to make it all the way through here. So the advantage of starting on this side is you do get all of this. Uh, I did this just to shut down the briar. Actually, I guess I can just quickly show what happens if I don't do that. Uh, we lose that potion, and we lose... We lose enemies up here. So really, we lose the 50 health. So it might actually just never be worth doing this. But I put it here. It's an option. We're going to do it. Now, one of the problems with starting on this side is I need a second kill if I'm going to get up to the top. Or I have to spend a bunch of money. Uh, otherwise, I'm forced to spend a yellow key. So really, you're kind of forced to spend a yellow key to get up here, no matter what you do. Um, these are kind of unreasonable. Yeah, you can attack it from behind. These are doable. I mean, I could do it right now. But that's a ton of resources that would be better spent on pretty much anything else. So we're going to do that. And I think... We're going to start with this room now. Well, continue up with this room. This is a room that you're going to want to do. We're just going to grab the health first, because that's going to make three roach fights here, which would be two gems cheaper, as opposed to four fights and also three hits here, which would be one gem cheaper. Um, you math this out, actually. Is it better to not fight these roaches first? Because you get two defense here, which saves you... 18 times 2, which would be 36 hits, whereas here you're saving yourself hmm, 6, 12, 22, 25 hits. So actually, I think you do technically save more health by doing this first. Um, the math in our favor here. Uh, obviously, we want to do these before... Um, yeah, because these are big hits. Like, we save only three health going back by having this gem. But each of these hits individually adds up to a lot as well. So those we're just going to grab now. And these we just saved ourselves quite a bit of damage there. And really, this room is kind of necessary to do, just because you can see it has tremendously helped our Greckle situation. We are now no longer no longer in debt. Uh, imagine if we had 30 Greckles right now, that would be nice. But uh, we're going for the challenge. Now, this ends up being the easiest yellow key on this route. Um, hmm. So this this Roach Queen, if we wanted to fight the Roach Queen, you know, we, if we go around like this, that causes a problem here, and if we fight this Roach first, that causes a problem here. So really, the only thing that kind of makes sense to do is fight it this way. Because uh, if we go up here, then it'll seal this gate. So really, we're going to be spending the yellow key regardless because we're going to be sealing this. So I don't think it actually ever makes sense to fight the Roach Queen, uh, but it is an option. Now we could go up here, grab the defense early. I haven't put too much thought into this, I'm just kind of grabbing as much defense as I can early. Under the assumption that ultimately this will pay out in my favor. And I do finally have 10 Greckles. Which lets me do this. Hmm. 
I don't have enough health to get through the Wraithwing and the Roach. Which is kind of what I'm looking at doing. I don't suppose there's any easy health lying around that I've just missed. Probably not. There's this room. How much are you guys? 30? How much is a Wraithwing? 115. So I need 146 health to get through. So I'm actually... If I do two of these... That does give me enough health on this rat on this road. So I can do this and then attack the the um the Wraith Ring here. However, I could also just try to save up for more Greckles. I don't think I'm going to though. Uh, saving up for Greckles is nice. because it prevents the roach from the roach egg from being laid. But since I'm kind of going for this to get the defense early, having two roach eggs on the same side is fine. I am going to have to take one, two, because it takes a turn to use the key, come in three evil eye hits and a yellow key in order to clear off this pressure plate now. Um, but... But we have that option, I guess. Uh, so that's the last Greckle I want to spend, unless unless I spend Greckles here. Not really a reason to spend Greckles here. I can save myself some damage. Um, hmm. Could come through here. I kind of want more health. Uh, 20 Greckles would let me get through here without spending a yellow key. You can see how this is so much tighter. Going through this way. I think what I'm going to do is I just need the health. I'm just going to spend my yellow key here at this point. Grab this. Which does force me to do a fight to get out. So I might as well do this one. I can grab that right away. That then forces me to do a second fight. Hmm. Okay, and I think that's every defense, right? Uh, no. It's still you. Then there's this room, which I don't have a key for anymore. More defense does help, but only if I have the help to survive taking advantage of it. Because every defense makes Wraithwings 10 cheaper and Roaches 12 cheaper. timing here wasn't great. Could have done this in a different order. Get reimbursed for our key. Okay. I could also just buy that key. Which at this point is kind of easy points. Now this Roach Queen is still 312. Still 312. Here it's spending a yellow key and 28 health for 100 health. Doesn't seem worth it unless I'm that desperate for health. Uh, you will never get cheaper because I, I now have every single defense gem. 
So there's no reason not to do this at this point. So now I just need health. Did I leave myself enough health? Again, you're never going to get cheaper. Might as well do that. You're never going to get cheaper. I have enough health to take on the Roach Queen. Once I've done that... I can then fight you. Okay, and there's a yellow key. Okay. So, as you can see, I have more than 200 health. That means I'm going to delete that potion. I was able to get through. Um, so now at this point, I'm just grabbing score. Hmm. Yellow keys are worth a lot of points. So if I could kill two more roaches, which I can, gets me this. Okay. Escaped. Uh, low Grekle start. Okay. So, as I said, um, pretty short. It's just a single level hold. Uh, it's what, six rooms or something? Eight rooms, maybe? Uh, but there are a lot of decisions, even just within this tight, confined space. Uh, I succeeded, in a sense, with my experiment of wanting to do a defense gem-only RPG hold. This one is... Mm, like, if I wanted to mess around with custom monsters, I could take the concept further, I guess. But honestly, as an RPG player, I really like having attack gems. To increase my stats. I feel like the choice between going attack versus defense and having attack routes versus defense routes throughout the entire hold is something that's really interesting and it's something I enjoy optimizing around. So for me, I just wasn't really interested in doing this more than I have. So I think this is kind of a nice self-contained um, experience. It does what I set out to do and it doesn't need to be bigger than this. So that is Quake and Quail, and I will be uh, deleting that potion and sending it to the hold administrators. And uh, yeah, if you're an RPG player and this looked like, you know, you just want, you know, like I said, it's 40 minutes to do two playthroughs. You know, just if you got 20 minutes, you want to mess around with this and try to optimize a little bit, I, uh, I hope you will do so. Uh, yeah.